pyramids of Giza, Machu Picchu, Chichen Itza, and today we see the amazing city of Angkor. have arrived to, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> gonna fall out. <laughs> Just arrived to the entrance of Angkor Wat. This is our guide Lau. <laughs> He's gonna be showing us around today. Oh, thank you very much. Perfect. Oh, thank you. I don't think you guys can see with just this iPhone camera, but we can see the stars. It is so amazing. I can't believe that I am actually here, friends. It is so special to be watching the sunrise over Angkor Wat. Even though we're probably not gonna have a really bright colored sunrise, you know, sometimes it can be like red and purple. I think it's gonna be more of a bluish, yellowish, purplish sunrise tonight. Still very beautiful. But I do have to say I apologize that at least right now the quality isn't that great because I'm filming on my iPhone and especially a front camera. I was told that the rules were super strict of, uh, you know, what camera gear you can bring into the park. Obviously there's no drones allowed. You're not supposed to have any kind of, you know, tripods, DSLR cameras, any of that kind of stuff. And then recently they made a rule where you're not allowed GoPros and Osmo Pockets, which is the camera that I use. But I am seeing a whole bunch of people who, you know, totally broke that rule and do have DSLR cameras and all that kind of jazz. I don't know if they're going to get in trouble later or if they're that strict on that kind of thing. But just so you know, you know, I am filming on an iPhone for this video. So I apologize if, you know, the quality isn't amazing. No visit to Cambodia is complete if you do not visit the absolutely stunning ancient city of Angkor. This city was the crown jewel and capital of the Khmer Empire, which ruled a good portion of what is modern-day Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, and Thailand. While there are many different areas in the city of Angkor that you can visit, Angkor Wat is the most famous because it is the largest religious monument on the planet. Angkor Wat was initially designed and constructed in the first half of the 12th century, and it is believed that the construction took about 35 years and 300,000 laborers. Initially, Angkor Wat was built as a Hindu temple because that was the religion of the Khmer civilization at the time, but in the later part of the 12th century, it was turned into a Buddhist temple, which is what it is worshipped as today. Angkor Wat was built as a symbolic representation of Mount Meru, which in Hindu mythology is a sacred five-peaked mountain standing in the center of the universe with the Hindu gods Brahman, Vishnu, and Shiva. Angkor Wat is spread over 400 acres, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and features on the national flag of Cambodia. All right, friends, it is about midday now and we are heading to Angkor Thom. If I didn't already mention this, Angkor, the whole site is absolutely enormous. And as my guide was saying, it would take like two weeks. It would take two weeks of walking around to really see everything. So if you're coming here, you know, don't 
be overwhelmed feeling like you have to see everything most people spend like one to three days exploring around but Angkor Thom is actually one of the largest areas because this was the sort of city the main part of the city of Angkor it is where the kings lived and kind of their clergymen uh, the whole royal family so even though the palace itself uh, was destroyed in the 13th uh, century there is nothing that remains of that we can still see some remnants of other parts of the city so that's where we're about to go now so Lao what is the uh, significance of Bayan temple Bayon was uh, built as a Buddhist temple, mm -hmm. but half Hindu and half Buddhist yeah. by Jaya Varman the Seven. Uh -huh. So he was the first king that changed religion from Hinduism to Buddhism. But he was smart because he built one temple for two religion at the same time. So people lived in peace. Oh, so and they're like, oh, they're including yeah. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yeah, so people lived in peace. That's why he is now considered as the greatest king of uh -huh. all time. So today when they build new Buddhist monastery, they have to follow Bayon style. All Buddha statues today when they carve actually show the expressions of Jaya Varamanda VII uh -huh. from the late 12th century. So those faces there on the tower, they symbolize the faces of Jaya Varamanda VII himself. Yeah. And also Bodhisattva. Mm -hmm. You may ask, who is Bodhisattva? Bodhisattva was Buddha to be. He was not a Buddha yet. So in this life, he just was born to do good stuff to yeah. become Buddha in the next life. Yes. That's Bodhisattva. Interesting. enjoying yourself dad yeah <laughs> definitely nice peaceful, yeah. oh yeah it's such a peaceful but large large area so you could just wander the around trees, here they're so straight there's like no branches on them mm -hmm. so right to the top they're, they're meant to be uh, for furniture building houses yes. oh really so which temple is this it's called Prepali Lai. Prepali? Yeah, Prepali Lai. Okay. It's just um, a temple that nobody re really wants to do research anything about this temple. But it's one of the Buddhist temples built by Jaya Varamanta Seven. Mm -hmm. A lot of carvings of Buddha are still here. Mm -hmm. But most of the Buddhist temple in Cambodia were destroyed by Hindu followers back in the late 13th century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one's still intact. Like all carvings of Buddha on the entrance is still here.
So we are coming up to the famous Tomb Raider <laughs> temple, right? <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the temple that many of you may have seen that has literal trees growing through it. And uh, thankfully it's still standing. What a fantastic morning, guys. I have no words for the beauty of the civilization of Angkor. This was so much more than I was expecting, even though I had watched, you know, some YouTube videos showing me this area until you actually come here. You don't realize the mass scale of everything. I want to, of course, say a big thank you to our guide, Lau. Uh, I hired him off of Airbnb Experiences, which I would highly recommend. I'll link him um, in the description of the video because I personally prefer to have like a private guide when I visit places. When you go with the big groups, you don't really get to, you know, go on your own schedule. Uh, also recommend coming by Tuk Tuk in between the different areas because it would take way too long if you were just planning to walk everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have any suggestions about visiting Angkor Wat I could definitely see myself coming back here and seeing more of the areas because to do it all in one day way too overwhelming so as always I'm sending you guys so much love I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful bye guys